There's gonna be like 4,000 children here. But Rosie's getting her first haircut. It is New Year's Eve. Very exciting, very exciting. We're having a little party tonight. It's gonna be really fun. There's gonna be like 4,000 children here. Pray for me. Anyways, so, first things first though. I'm taking, I'm still sick. That's why my voice sounds like this. Hey all. Taking Rosie and Shelby. Shelby's getting a haircut, but Rosie's getting her first haircut since she's been home from China. Now, you might be asking yourself, Angela, Rosie's been home for almost two years. You really have never cut her hair? No. No, we have not. You should insert a picture of like, her <clears throat> hair when she got home. Yeah, I'll insert a picture over here so you can see her little um, bangs were to here, hair was to here, and we just really wanted to grow it out. Well, now it's down to like, it's crazy long. Her hair's crazy long. And it gets in everything, she gets food stuck in it, it's breaking off. It's just not in good condition anymore, and I think some of that may have to do with her thyroid, but we'll go to the doctor next month and have that checked out um, again and see what we need to do with her medication. But she needs a haircut. She needs a haircut. So I always think little girls look so cute with the like kind of short A-line bob. We're not gonna do bangs. We're just gonna do like a short A-line bob. So. We'll see. And Shelby's just getting a couple inches taken off as well as um, it thinned out a little bit. Cause y'all have seen her hair. Girl's got Rapunzel hair. It's beautiful, but it's very hard for her to take care of. So that's what we're doing. And then I'm going to get paint samples cause we're getting ready to start a bunch of renovation projects. Are you so excited? I can't wait. The thing you've got going on is about to be a lot of work. Yep, yeah, that's right. All my organization stuff. I just really am making a whole lot of work for him. But not really. We're hiring somebody. Is going to come paint the cabinets. Very excited about that. And also painting my office. The dining room. We're turning it into my office. Now, I'm going to ask you guys' opinion to leave it down in the comments and let me know. Here's what I'm thinking. Let me show you. Um, so for the kitchen, what I want to do is white upper cabinets and black lower cabinets. I'm gonna try to insert a picture here to show you what I'm talking about, what I want it to look like. We've already done the black sp backsplash and countertops. I wanna replace all the hardware with gold hardware, including, we have to get a new faucet anyways because this one's busted, so I was gonna do a gold faucet. Um, because our kitchen is really small, I just wanted something that looked really, um, really, I don't know what the word I'm gonna say. Are you chewing on lights? Okay, so that's what I'm thinking in here. So it's either, that or all white. But I just, I don't know, I want something different. I want something different. I don't know why this was wearing shorts and a tank top. Like it's not 17 degrees outside. And then in this room, I'm gonna show you guys the paint samples. I asked on Instagram for some um, voting because I had two different options for the way I wanted the office to look because we're converting this into an office. And um, yeah, I'm kind of actually going with a combination of the two. So some of the stuff is on its way. I'm gonna show you guys, but this where these walls are going we're going vibrant. We're going blue in here. Are you scared? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So the painter's coming and he's taking, um, we're taking this chair molding off completely so that we have a nice flat wall. Cause I need stuff to be able to, like bookshelves to be able to lean against the wall and stuff. So anyways, he's taking that off and then painting the ceilings and the walls and then gonna do our cabinets too. But I gotta pick paint colors. Cause yeah. we've done this multiple times where we painted this room back here hallways right here and we've done it three and then we changed our mind because because uh, we're not good at getting samples because the gray never turns out to be the right gray had too much we're just not too much good at getting paint, samples we always beige. forget to get we notice it like we always forget in. to get samples and so we just start painting because we're like oh we like that color and then it doesn't look right so that's why i'm going to get samples today of black white and the colors for this room so we can pick ones that look good with our mm -hmm. lighting and our natural light and stuff that we well, have in here Oh, and then this is the other project that we're gonna start maybe tomorrow. I yeah. might just have him do it tomorrow while I'm organizing closets. You're gonna do the stairs, aren't you? Are you gonna use the same the same paint? Nope, the it's a different no, no. It's a complete. It's a different process. We're ripping the carpet off the stairs, um, and we are going to paint these black. So just this part, the wood part of the handrails will be black. That'll be white, and then wood and white here. 
So we're gonna have black and white through here, and that's why I think the black and white would look really good in the kitchen. Mm. I don't feel good. You look good. I see that. Ladies, we're at the oh. Mecca. We're at Target. You ready to do a little shopping? Yes. Are you? Yeah. Yeah? You enjoying your little girls' day? Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you say girls' day? Go okay. Girls' day. That's say right. Girl? Let's do this. Girl. Okay. All right, she's found some shoes. Let's see what you find here. How cute are these? And all the shoes are on clearance. Look at these. I know I'm so cute. Okay, hold on. These, mommy wants, this isn't too big for her, but I want those in my size. You want those in your size? And they also have llama shoes. I'm so well, tempted I to buy her that. these and just put yeah, them away for when they do fit her. But her feet grow so slow, that could be like two years from now. I got bear. What? I got bear. He'll be so proud of you. Oh, I'll send it to Grand Nana too. She'll be so proud of you too. Can you take a picture? <laughs> you show Grand Nana? Yeah. You got some wild hair, girl. We got Shelby's getting her hair cut too. She's got Rapunzel hair. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see your hair. Shelby just had a little bit taken off the ends and then she had it thinned out. Rosie! Rosie. Okay, let me see. Let me see, Rue. Uh, I love it. You look so cute, Rosie. Do you like your haircut? Look at Mama. I think it's a <laughs> yeah. Okay. You do like it? Yeah, I like I it. I think it makes you look so much older. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. You look like yeah. a big six-year-old girl? <laughs> yep. You think so? Do you want to go inside Lowe's here and help me pick out some paint? Yeah. You look so big. To paint girl. the dining room? Go Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Okay, you ready? Okay, well, I just put the black paints on and my friend was right. I ran into my friend Kaylin and she said just ask them for straight black because every other black is going to have either gray or brown um, tones in it. And I do, I like the way just the straight black looks. To me, it's so much more sophisticated and kind of classic looking. I think it's going to look better with everything else we have going on. So I'm just going straight black and now I have to pick the white because we were doing, like I said, black lower and white upper. So, that'll be fun. Let's check on these colors in here. I've only done one coat, so they're still very, I'm definitely leaning towards this one. Well, that's the same color. That one on the right is the same color as that. That's why I painted it in two different places. Wait, what? That color. It's the same as one on the right. It's the same as this one. Yeah, the one on the left has a lot of teal. Yeah, it's actually called teal. Let me paint second coats. All right, guys, we've got everything all set up. I'll show you guys the decorations. We're almost ready for our little New Year's Eve party. Whoops, got all these kiddos. Oh, We're ready. Hi, Ivy. Oh, Jonah. You ready to party? Oh, uh oh. No one, Jonah, just oh. bumped. Hey, Jonah. You guys some sparkly garland and lights here. Midi boo. Some more lights and a little sign that says hashtag New Year's Eve. And then over here for the kiddos, we just have some white grape, sparkling white grape juice with little champagne glasses, some little crowns and hats. So ready to party. Are you ready? Party! Party! Yes, go. Party, 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 party! 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 I keep saying it. 
No, it's don't watch out. Don't fuck your face. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Oh, oh, these are these earrings are from um, Noonday. These are their Nebula earrings. I love them. How pretty! Where did I go? They're they're a little heavy. I will admit they're a little heavy. They're really really pretty. You got your Uncle Pete. That's oh, right. Yawning. We're snuggling. We got your Uncle Pete. Yeah, we're snuggling. You got your Uncle Pete. The chicken, the duck. You have the chick. She really does look like. Oh. She's comfy. Just relax. It's like a bean bag she's on. <laughs> Come on, let me see you conga. You gotta go fast. There we go. Come on. All right, so we've got the ball drop on TV. All the kids have their little. Where are the kids? Let's see. All the kids have their little champagnes and party hats. It's almost time. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I tried. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's. Oh. <laughs> Turn around. Wait, 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 wait. We need a countdown. We need a countdown, ready? Three, two, no, it's a 10. 10. ten eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Woo! I can't make it stop. I don't know how to make it stop. <laughs> That was amazing. That was actually better than any of the actual ones. I just want to say I'm having a good part. Remember kids, leave room for Jesus. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> oh man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I need to go take my makeup off. That was so much fun. But I think we counted and there was 20 kids total. So, a lot of kids. <laughs> but now I'm really tired. So, I'm gonna go take my makeup off. That was hilarious. I don't know how much I caught of that on film, but I tried to just find like a ball drop on YouTube. And <laughs> it was like played the ball drop and then it played like clips of people making out. <laughs> And then the TV wouldn't turn off, so all the kids are just staring at the TV, all these people making out. So that was embarrassing. Felt kind of bad about that. Um, but it's fine. So, yeah, it's like 8.30, and I'm seriously exhausted and ready for bed. So I just put on my pajamas. I'm going to go wash my face, and I'm going to go to bed like a big fat loser, but I don't care. I really don't care. I yeah, don't know how the young people do it. Well, yeah, I do. They don't have seven kids. That's how they do it. When I didn't have seven kids, I could stay up till midnight. But now, not so much. I hope that y'all had an awesome New Year's Eve. And tomorrow, it's a very exciting day. It's New Year's Day. So, I hope you guys had an amazing one. Great 2017. 2018 is going to be even more amazing. And again, thank you guys so much for spending your very precious time with us we really do appreciate it. it means a lot to us so thank you guys so much and i will see y'all again later